people. Okay, well, you had a question, Michelle. I did, I did. So, uh, um, on the Learn Camtasia Facebook site, uh, Lon has put a couple of clips in there that he created with a new tool that's coming out. And I, I went there and I, I was intrigued because I thought it looked really cool. And I just happened to have a client in mind who could use those kind of intros. And, and so um, I told Lon, if I come tonight and ask the question, would he demo the tool a little bit? Yeah, it's called Revio. Revio. Okay. Revio. And basically, you can customize a video clips. So they have things like logo stings, you know, and they're all really awesome animations and things like that. Intro scenes, lower thirds. So they have all these assets and really cool things that you can customize and create. You just fill in the blanks and kick them out. So this is kind of the latest one that I'm testing. I'll put the link in the chat box. But I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I think there's uh, one OTO where you can get like more templates. And that's pretty that, standard. That means one-time offer for those of you that are new. Right. So you buy something. A lot of times they'll say, would you like more? <laughs> would you like more stuff? I tend to buy things if the price is right that look cool. And I do it a lot, and it's mainly because I create a lot of videos, you know, create videos every week for these coaching sessions and for clients and products that we create. So it's a real return on investment for me. But so I guess when you're trying to decide, you have to think to yourself, you know, do I have a video or am I for sure that if I only use it once for a future video, will I have felt like it was still a good buy? Yeah, that's exactly the case. And this is especially worrisome for, you know, beginners that are trying to start to make videos. For you and I and for some of the other folks here like Susan or Gord or Marsha and other folks that make a lot of videos, well, it doesn't take much for something to provide that return on investment. I would say that I've run into this more than a couple of times. And some of our oldest students, <laughs> oldest meaning have been with us the longest, still are not making videos, right? But yet, they continuously buy these video products, okay? Because they're cool. Because they're and you cool. Know if you're asking about cool new tools every time they come out and you're not making videos, stop. Stop it. <laughs> Do not buy any more new tools until you make me a video. One video using something you've bought. <laughs> Seriously, we have a couple of folks that I have never seen a video of theirs, and yet they constantly will pretty much buy all kinds of stuff. And as an affiliate of those products, I certainly appreciate that, but I hate to see it. You know, that's just no good. <laughs> That's well, not doing you know, anybody like, any good. I don't need the money. <laughs> yeah, and no? then just to complicate the situation <laughs> is the fact that over the last year, uh, year and a half, there have been, and I'd even just hazard a guess to say at least three dozen new and improved video apps that instantly and effortlessly make professional videos with no effort and no skills. Okay, that's a bunch of crap for the most part. And even something as useful and interesting as this, and this goes along with the Explainedio 3.0 question. So here's the thing. Explainedio is actually pretty decent software. What it does is it allows you to animate stuff. Okay, but it doesn't have a real timeline. It doesn't have multiple tracks. You cannot add narration and time things together. It, it's just a nightmare to try to make uh, anything other than a stupid cartoon video set to music. And those are fading fast, folks. You know, I mean, you, if you pull it off really well, you might be able to, you know, still have them be useful and relevant. But more and more, people are just 
tuning them out because they're lame. Uh, and again, mm -hmm. especially if you don't pull them off really well, whiteboard videos, you know, where the hand comes up and draws and stuff can be awesomely effective, but they have to be done right. Otherwise, they just look cheap and cheesy, and most of them do. You know, so there's some stuff you got to know to be able to pull things like that off. So these tools, they provide this kind of content. Explainedio will do the whiteboard drawing stuff for you. But again, you can't really edit it or make a complete video out of it. So all these kinds of tools are great for creating certain types of content. You can go to the link I put in the chat box there and just look at some of them and understand that wherever you see a picture, you can put your picture. Wherever you see text, you can put your text. If there's a video playing, you can put your video. And the fact that you can like do that just by really, oh, let's see here, let's just pick one. And I won't really go into it too much, but I'll show you. Here's one, uh, one of the samples that I put on our page here. So I'm just going to click here. I could play a preview, and you'll notice that it's 30 seconds. I need two pictures and one video clip. That's what I need to put this together. So I click Make My Video. And it's going to go ahead and load up. And then it's a matter of giving it a title and clicking the little things here. So add text to this field. So here I change my text, right? Okay, and then I move to the next scene. It even gives you a little check mark here telling you that it has everything it needs. You know, it needed one text field, one of one. Here I need three text fields, one image and one video clip. And then you just kind of, you know, pick them here. Here's an image. Here's a video clip. And add them. And they're stored in your library here. Or you just drag and drop it or click here to upload it. Right? So it's this kind of ease of interface that really kind of lets you spit out some interesting content. But well, make no mistake, this is not a complete video. It's an awesome ending for my Camtasia videos projects that I want to upload to YouTube, right, to encourage someone to subscribe uh, and things like that. And it's wicked cool, <laughs> but it's that easy to create. That's kind of the secret sauce. Like, if you are going to do something like this, your alternative to using something like Revio would be to go over to um, Video Hive. I mean, all right, so you go, they have like a trillion of these logo stingers and video intros. You sit for a long time and you go through them and you finally found one, you find one that you like, but you can't update it or do anything to it yourself because you don't have the skills to do it. I'm, I'm just saying it requires after, Adobe After Effects. So then you go to Fiverr and then you find somebody and then you send it to them and then you wait and then you blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what I like about this is it's got a handful of choices. It doesn't have, you know, a hundred that you have to go through and figure out what you want. Sometimes less choice is better, in my opinion. You pick one of them and you don't go to Fiverr and you don't have to find somebody to outsource it to. And you just do it and then you have it, you know, in 30 minutes. These tools, in my opinion, again, aren't for creating complete videos. They're for creating assets. So what happens is this will be something that I pull into my clip bin. Maybe use, maybe use as lesson intros. If it's a training course, you could repeat it six times, and they could be animated um, intros to each lesson of your training course. Absolutely. Right? Certainly yeah. one or more of them make those great little pieces that you can use to interrupt your content you know so let's say I'm talking on camera and I'm giving a lecture and I'm talking and talking and gosh after you know uh, a very short period of time people are sick of looking at my face so what I what you want to do periodically then is 
pop something into your video that is text-based or we like to use PowerPoint you know maybe I save this out as a, an image and I just drop this down when I'm yammering on about iPhone apps you know and you just put it in there as a title thing just for you know a little bit and then jump back to the face thing these are the little kinds of things that differentiate pro videos from amateur town okay an amateur will fire up their camera and they'll just start yakking and uh, it, you know it's okay I guess in some respects but when you see videos that have other elements and again I can kick these out of Revio okay and then I can not just pull them into my clip bin here but I can also then add them to my library right so at that point and I have like bunches of these kinds of things let me find one for you here's one that I use all the time yeah now that's a great idea I like that this is called my title tips see that I actually made this in Camtasia <laughs> But what it is, is it's just something that I drop down on top of my video here. And let me just stretch this up a bit. Uh, it's a little video clip in the background, right? And it's all animated, and it's short, right? So, and then I just, in Camtasia, modify this text. And so this is kind of a special case, because I made it in Camtasia. But I could do the same kind of thing here. It literally takes just minutes minutes to make these you know once you know what you want your text to be and uh, I gotta find an image you know or whatever right. it takes longer to find the stuff to put in here and think up what to put than it does to make the video or you just choose a simple one maybe that just has a few things of text exactly uh, right exactly I like this a lot I'm definitely buying these tomorrow so uh, what's this recent doodle product you were taught you're talking about wall do you know what he's referring to uh, probably doodly oh yeah I've heard that. see and then that's the thing and again that's the problem so explain to you uh, let's see I do have a link for that I like the app but his software is pretty solid so if you go and look at this yeah, there are tons of these tools out there, and there's Explaindio. There, before that, it was Video Maker FX, which started the whole thing off. One or two from a kid named Josh Rada, Doodly just came out, which has more of a timeline, and is probably the best of the bunch. There are lots of different selections that you can make, and new ones come out all the time. So here's the thing, people ask me all the time, well, which is better? And quite frankly, it's hard to answer that question because these folks update their software all the time. Well, the good ones do. So I could say, oh, well, this does this, but this one does that. And we have the same conversation a week from now, that changes. So I guess my suggestion and my advice would be, worrying about the tools so much and make some videos <laughs> right make some videos keep it simple we say this all the time you know you can do some major damage with PowerPoint and export it as video and pull it into Camtasia and wrap her up okay so it's not how many tools you have in your toolbox it's how well you can swing each hammer